Today we're going to do something a little bit different, and it's going to be an unboxing of that. That is the Destiny 2 Forsaken Legendary Collection, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, and welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, before you say anything, yesterday I made a video, and that video was that GameStop was not doing a midnight release or an early release the day before, which is today, for Destiny 2 Forsaken. However, today is September 3rd, and I received a text this morning stating that GameStop, the one in my area, will be doing an early release, and it was going to be all day. So, that video obviously was old news, and then this video is new news. So, now... For those who just thought that Destiny 2 Forsaken was just going to be digital content, you're wrong. And actually, GameStop had a few different copies of Destiny 2 Forsaken um, that were actually physical. So, this is one of them. And as I said before, this is the Destiny 2 Forsaken Legendary Collection. And let's go ahead and do the unboxing. So, I'm actually going to check the camera real quick. Can't really see it that good, but you really don't need to see my face. So, this is what the Destiny 2 Forsaken Legendary Collection consists of. I apologize for the glare, uh, but yeah. So, this is the box. Gonna go around real quick. Looks pretty, pretty badass. I'm not gonna lie. And apparently this is Cage Last Stand. This is an extra emblem that we actually get. There's an emblem code inside the box, as well as this cool Cade statue and the Destiny 2 Forsaken game. So let's go ahead and slip this off. Put that back there. Now, it's kind of weird how there's no uh, tape on this, so hmm, pretty interesting. So we are going to go ahead and pop this out. Let's start with the statue first. Put that aside. So this is the statue. It is of Cade 6. Not really that heavy. But let's go ahead and uh, pop this open. Put that to the side. Go ahead and grab Cade and the stand. Ugh. Put that to the side. Apologize for that. And this is the statue. I'm going to put it on the stand. Voila. So this is the Cade 6 Last Stand statue. And it's pretty badass. I'm not going to lie. I wish I had one of those like little tourney tables to do this. <laughs> but I got you guys. I got you. But anyways, this is the statue. Looks pretty badass. It's Cade. Gun. Bang. I'm going to put that back here. Real quick. And then, also in the box, is the Destiny 2 Forsaken game. With this awesome... Code in the back, and just to double check, this code is for the um, Last Stand emblem, and I'm gonna show you that right there. That way you can't see my code, my code. But yeah, obviously it comes with the Destiny 2 Forsaken game. And this comes with Destiny 2, Curse of Osiris, as well as the Warmind expansion. And this little sticker in the bottom says, Add annual pass to game purchase. Three Forsaken content releases. Oh, and it even specifies. Uh, try to get... Uh, no. There we go. Or oh, that's terrible. <laughs> Anyways, it says Destiny 2 Forsaken Legendary Collection on the actual um, side right here. Oh, there we go. That's a lot better. <laughs> Apologize for that. But yeah, I'm extremely excited for Forsaken, and it, it's going to be definitely a good time. A lot of things have changed, and 
it's starting to feel a little bit more like Destiny 1, but the part of Destiny 1 that should have never changed. God, you need a minimum of 104 gigabytes uh, on your PlayStation. Sheesh. Oh, real quick. The Destiny 2 Forsaken contest is still going, and it is going till tonight up until 11.59 p.m. So if you guys would like to enter that contest, there is a Gleam link down in the description below. Go ahead, click on that, enter the contest. That way you guys can get a chance to win probably this one. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know. You just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.